What's up y'all, I'm Jordy, and today I've got you an Excadrill T-Tar team. This was sent in by a good friend of mine, Jarl. Thank you so much for sending this in. Looks like it's gonna be a blast. We've got the Tyranitar with Assault Vest, pretty normal, but it's Fer Fairy Terra Terra Blast, which is a really cool tech to pick up stuff like Urshifu's. Then we've got this Excadrill, with his, which is a Focus Sash Swords Dance set. With Swords Dance, this thing can be crazy. Usually you'll just see something like Rock Slide in that slot to go for multiple flinches, but this thing means business. To round it out, we've got an Amoongus, which is just always good, a Farigarath, which can imprison Trick Room, reverse Trick Room, and block priority, which is pretty nice for this team. Then we've got a couple weird picks. We've got Volcarona, who I think is still pretty good, but its low defense stat makes it kind of hard to use in this meta. It's a full support set. It's got Tailwind, Struggle Bug, Rage Powder, and just Overheat to do some damage. And then in the last slot, good old support Gyarados. Helping Hand, Taunt, Waterfall, Thunder Wave. I'm telling you, everything on this team is super solid. Let's jump into some of these and let's see what it can do. All right, let's get popping with this Sand Duo. We're fighting a Dragonite, Chen Pao, Tornadus, a Archaladon, Rillaboom, and an Urshifu. Lots of strong meta stuff. Definitely Rain Dance on that Tornadus. Let's see how we get after this. I think Gyarados would be pretty good here. Uh, Jeff <laughs> Jeffrey the Giraffe could uh, definitely stop some of that priority as well. That could be a good way to go for the start. Uh, Tyranitar, Excadrill, who hits Archaladon best? Maybe Sunburst here, or the Holy Moly. Uh, I definitely want to have Jeffrey, I def definitely want to have Gyarados. Maybe it is... Oh, Gyarados would call in an Electro Shot immediately if they go with that mode, though. So I think I'm gonna go with... Excadrill does seem pretty good, especially with the Sash. Gonna have to have Tyranitar in the back. Not loving Amoongus, but also not hating it. Especially for their Urshifu. Yeah, why not? Why not just Excadrill Amoongus, could do a little bit of redirecting if needed. And Jeffrey in the back. Okay, let's give it a shot. We know they're going to want to set up their uh, Rain Dance. So they're going to have Tornadus. We're going to hope we can get something done, though. And then put up this Sand. And then get a Sweep. Alright. They are leading Tornadus and Chen Pao. Perfectly fine. Now, you could just go for a Taunt into the Amoongus if you really want. I guess, but I'm gonna go ahead and Rage Powder something away. If we get Tyranitar in here after Tornadus goes down, that would be excellent. Uh, Farigarath could also come in to block Priority Taunt. That could actually be pretty interesting as well. But I think I'm fine with just launching how about an Iron Head at Chen Pao? That would bring it down to its Sash, and Sand could break it later. Or actually, Rocky Helmet could break it right now. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Let's just eliminate Chen Pao. Nope, they're just gonna protect their Chen Pao. Okay. You wanna keep the kitty around. We get the Rage Powder, and are you going for just a Taunt? Uh, they're just going for Tailwind. Okay. Okay, that's fine. That means we can very comfortably just do a Rage Powder Iron Head next turn. Do I want to Terra Amoongus now? Um, they also have plenty of switch-ins to Iron Head. They could have Urshifu and they could have that Archaladon. They have speed on us, even if we put up Sand, so there's no point in going into Tyranitar just yet. I think I will just launch an Iron Head and probably Terra Rage Powder. Don't want to lose a Moongus this quickly. Okay, a Terrastalization from their end. I'm guessing it's your Chen Pao, and I'm guessing it's Ghost. Yeah, you don't really care for the extra damage right now, you just don't want to die to Iron Head. I get it. I get it. 
but we're also going to change our Amoongus because we don't want to lose anything either. For the offensive nature of both of our teams, this is off to a pretty slow start. But that's alright. Amoongus is all wet now. We just go for our Rage Powder, no protects from their end. And they do set up Rain Dance now. And then, okay, good, it's Ice Spinner. That does get us a little bit of chip damage. And we take basically nothing. That's pretty good chip, too. Let's see how much Iron Head will do. Ooh, that's pretty good. I'd say that's really good. Now, it could be... Now, they don't want to attack again, because they'll have to hit the Amoongus, so they're obviously going to protect, is my guess. Um, Farigarath could come in and block a taunt if they want to go for that. They might not have taunt. Do Tornaduses ever not carry taunt? So I'm just going to Iron Head the Tornadus. Hmm. No. I'm going to bring in Farigarath now. And I'm going to Spore their Tornadus. That's my play. I think the Chen Pao is going to protect, and I think the Tornadus is going to go for a taunt. If I catch a bleak windstorm, eh, hopefully it doesn't do too much. It is a protect from the Chen Pao. Okay, we got that. Show me taunt. Oh, it is just a bleak windstorm. Okay, that's damage, but we'll be alright. Let me get the spore. Now since you have such a fast team, I'm going to set Trick Room. Though I could also... Yeah, it's just Trick Room. And it's got to be a Rage Powder. I don't know if Farigarath can take this Ice Spinner. And then we should still have our Amoongus after this turn, so we can Pollen Pop up the Farigarath too. Which is excellent. Just playing it nice and slow. Nice and slow. I get that this... Oh, it's a Sacred Sword. Okay, and Amoongus takes it. Great. Is Chen Pao gone? No, Chen Pao's still alive, actually. Okay. And we get our Trick Room. I know this Farigraph is mostly for stopping Trick Room, but if we're not going to get our speed control off on Excadrill, we might as well just go this way. And now I'm just going to pop a Dazzling Gleam. And I could go into Excadrill or Tyranitar here, get a little health back on Amoongus. Or I could Pollen Puff the Farigraph. They might just protect their Chen Pao, in which case we can knock it out by bringing in Tyranitar. So yeah, I'm just going to go for a Dazzling Gleam and bring in T-Tar. Dazzling Gleam just to cover for if they do attack. And just get Amoongus out to get a little bit of regenerator health. Alright, now we have our weapon. It's likely that they'll wake up sooner or later and get their own rain dance off, so we might have to get out. Yep, Chen Pao, I'm, I'm getting you through that, don't worry. Don't you worry, you little baby. Scared of a little giraffe. Got Godzilla in the back. And Tornadus is still asleep. I guess they're gonna try to wake up here and rain dance. But first, let's get our chip on Chen Pao and see who else they have. They could have Urshifu, they could have Archaladon, both of those are fairly scary. We do have low kick on this Tyranitar for an Archaladon though. Oh, and Fairy Terra Blast? Oh, I've already used Terra, I'm not going to be able to use that. Okay, it is just Archaladon. That's fine by me. Then I am going to... I guess Tyranitar is a little bit scared. Uh, what's the speed order here? Does Farigarath go first? 82, 88. Farigarath does go first, so I don't want a Dazzling Gleam. I think I'll just throw a Psychic into Tornadus, or do I want to get into Amoongus now? It might be better to get into Amoongus now. Though I could bring Amoongus in on the other slot, but then I have no offense. And I'll just low-kick the Archaladon. 
Tyranitar may go down here to a body press. And Tornadus wakes up. And yes, they do set up their rain. Okay. Now let's see how much a low kick does to you. Half? Oh, I was hoping for more, actually. They get their stamina, they get their body press. Yep, it is body press. Tyranitar does not eat that. Okay. So how much Trick Room do we have left? We set up Trick Room, we Dazzling Gleamed, we switched out. That's... Dazzling Gleam is one, switch out is two. So we have two more turns. Excadrill is definitely slower than their Tornadus. So I think that's what I'm going to bring in next. And just spore their Archaladon. Is it possible that they do have Taunt this whole time? Because they've shown Bleak Windstorm, Rain Dance, Tailwind. They could have Protect. I feel like they would have taunted a long time ago if they had it. I feel comfortable going for a Spore onto Archaladon. But is it also a high horsepower into Archaladon? I actually think it is. I think the Tornadus is less scary. And we do get the Spore. Okay, they're just going for a Bleak Wind. That's fine. You were gonna get a Bleak Wind off anyway. Because I don't think Iron Head would take it out from here. And high Horsepower. Finishes our Chaladon. Okay. But we were faster than it, so it's a good thing we went for the Spore. That's good. And then your Bleak Wind Storm does how much? Everyone's fine. Speed drop on Amoongus. Okay, it's already so slow. Uh, we can Pollen Puff to get Excadrill back. Oh, they have Dragonite. Okay. And on this, the last turn of Tricky Room. Some plays I could make include bringing in Farigaraf and Sporing Dragonite. Bringing in Farigaraf and attacking with Excadrill. Um... If I spore the Dragonite, I lose a Moongus. Going to go for... Hmm. If they lock into Extreme Speed, there's... Oh, and I was too slow. Okay, they protected their Tornadus. Oh no. What, what did I click? What did Excadrill click? And it's a Dragon Claw into a Moongus. That's fine. Okay. This is fine. Now what did Excadrill click? I think it would be, what, the top move? High horsepower? That's gonna do nothing. <laughs> oh no. Okay, sorry about that. I don't usually do that. Uh, Twisted Dimensions are returned to normal. Now, Dragonite with Dragon Claw is pretty interesting. Is that... telling me your choice in some manner? And the Dragonite went before Excadrill, actually. So Trick Room isn't the play. Dazzling Gleam... Iron Head into Dragonite, I think, is the play. Man, a little bit of Iron Head chip from last turn would have been real nice. And then Iron Head. Ooh, that's big chip. And Dragon Claw into Farigarath. Okay. Now let's count rain turns. Last turn of rain, we just protect. They're gonna throw a Bleak Wind Storm, most likely. I don't want them to have the free accuracy. Yep, okay, good. It is just a bleak wind storm. And now we're faster than Dragonite. Maybe we have to dodge a bleak wind storm. Uh, the right play from them might be to Tailwind and try to get a Dragon Claw off. 
wonder if we can actually take that. But here we go, just Iron Head into the Dragonite. Maybe you don't know the speed tiers here. And maybe you whiff a Bleak Wind Storm. Nope, they land the Bleak Wind. It does enough that we would have to dodge the next one. But we get the Iron Head. So 20% of the time, we got this game, I think. Unless they're not actually in Iron Head range, which might also be the case. But they just connect the Bleak Wind Storm. All right. Couldn't pull off this one. Let's go do another. All right, let's get at this one. What can Titar X Kadrill really do? We've got Archaladon, Urshifu, Landorus, Thunderous, Rillaboom, and Incineroar. Lots of basic stuff, but then also a Thunderous. Thunderous might have something like Rain Dance uh, to get rid of the sand, but otherwise, they don't seem to have much in the way of speed control. And Holy Moly here is immune to Thunder Wave anyway. So that's good. Uh, they have Incineroar, they have Rillaboom, lots of fake out potential. I do think that that Landorus is pretty scary. Gyarados is pretty good here, unless, but they must have Electro Shot on that Archaladon. And they do have Thunderous. Alright, so how do I want to get after this? Uh, I do want to bring in Tyranitar. I could just lead Tyranitar and have Amoongus as a swap in. I could... I like Tyranitar first. I do like Tyranitar first. And maybe... Tyranitar and Ferrigarath. Just to block any priority shenanigans they want to start out with. Excadrill in the back so he doesn't get intimidated. And Amoongus. I think that's the way to go. Alright, that's what I'm locking in. Let's see what we can do with this. I like Tyranitar as the lead, with the, with the Terra Fairy, maybe a Terra Blast into something. Especially if they've got Urshifu. Especially if they have Dark Urshifu. I would love to pop that. But then I've, I've led two weaknesses to Dark Urshifu, so I'd have to pick and choose which one. Okay, it is Thunderous Incineroar versus our Tyranitar and Ferrigarath. They get the Intimidate, but they're not going to be able to get a Fake Out. And that Thunderous, honestly, it can't really do much. So I'm going to just probably throw a Rock Slide. I assume a Parting Shot is going to come out of that guy over there. Ferrigarath, what's your speed? I think Neutral Incineroar is 80. And you're 82? Oh, it depends on how much speed they put in it. Okay. Rock Slide is just free damage. And then I think I will throw a Psychic at the Thunderous, just to get a little more damage on that, get that thing out of the way. Okay, they do have Rain Dance. They do have Rain Dance, so we're going to want to get Tyranitar out of here at some point. Rock Slide does a little less than half to both. We get a Flinch on the Ensign, confirming it's faster than Ferrigarath. And just a Psychic brings Thunderous quite low. Alright, we can get out of here now with Tyranitar. Most likely if they're attacking Tyranitar, it's with a Parting Shot or a Wild Bolt Storm. Amoongus doesn't mind any of that. And then probably a Dazzling Gleam here. Though it wouldn't be bad positioning to set up Trick Room. The Thunderous could have Taunt. I want to get rid of Thunderous. I'm going to Dazzling Gleam. Oh, but now that I think about it, it couldn't taunt as long as Ferrigarath's still around. But who knows how long that'll be. Knockoff plus Wild Bolt Storm could do a chunk. And they're Terrasilizing now. I'm not sure what that's for. Uh, it's Incineroar, they don't want to take Rock Slide damage? Yeah, I guess that's all it is. A Terragrass Incineroar. Alright. I can Psychic you now. And Wild Bolt Storm. Doesn't do that much to Ferrigarath, honestly. Gets a Paralyze on Amoongus. Let's hope that doesn't become annoying later. And a knockoff into Ferrigarath. Does not take it out. Good job, Ferrigarath. And Dazzling Gleam finishes off Thunderous. Alright, we have weather control for the rest of the game. Uh, as soon as we bring in Tyranitar. That is great. 
and Farigraph. Farigraph's pretty much done. Farigraph is done doing things. Though I could preserve it, maybe. All right, Landorus, huh? Well, I'm not switching into either of these right just now. I think the play... I would guess they're gonna throw a move at Amoongus and try to knock out Farigarath. I don't know which way they'll go. They could Flare Blitz Earth Power or they could knock off Earth Power. Either direction. I don't think Amoongus is going down either way unless it gets doubled into. So I'm gonna throw a Spore. And if you're silly for some reason, I could Trick Room. But I think it's better just to throw a Psychic. They protect Landorus. Okay. Alright, you're just taking out Farigarath? They are just taking out Farigarath. I guess that's fine. I think that's fine. I would have liked to get that Spore. But now I can Rage Powder. I can't Rage Powder the Incineroar. Now, do I go to Excadrill and then swap in Tyranitar? Or do I just bring in Tyranitar now? I think I'm just going to bring in Tyranitar right now. And just Rage Powder away that Earth Power and then hit it with a big knockoff. Could I get messed up if I get full paralyzed? Yes. But Assault Vest plus Sand, I think Tyranitar will be okay. Ooh, I think it's going to be so okay that I just Pollen Pop Tyranitar. No. No, I just Rage Powder. And I hit a knockoff. Knockoff will definitely put it in like Iron Head range for Excadrill later. It's a Sandseer Storm. Ouch. But at least you can't burn me. Give me that Life Orb. Yeah, that's done. You're, you're done with that. You can't have that. Flare Blitz into Amoongus. Now we can bring in Excadrill. You take some Rocky Helmet. Oh, you've got a berry. And then you take Recoil? Is that the order of things? Okay. All right. Now we've got Tyranitar and Excadrill on the field. And we have our weather control. We saw that Sandseer's Storm only did about 90 damage to Tyranitar. 117 remaining. I don't know if Earth Power would take it at all. Uh, but we just throw Iron Head. They likely protect their Landorus and try to Flare Blitz. That's what I'm going to read. They're going to protect Landorus and go for Flare Blitz. So I'm going to protect Excadrill. And I think I should just go... Should it just be a rock slide? I think it's just a rock slide. Just in case Lander is attacked, I, I do get to hit it anyway. Yeah, they protect. Okay. Read that from a mile away. Plus, this gives me a flinch chance on the Incineroar. I don't think Knockoff is going to finish it from here. Oh, a crit from Rock Slide. And just a Flare Blitz into Excadrill. Perfect. That is perfect. Now we've got the KOs we need. All set up. No, don't go down. Yeah, good. Just an Iron Head. And... Who is their last? Urshifu would be pretty scary as their last. But yeah, I'm just going to throw an Iron Head here. Knock off here. I don't think they'll swap. Yeah, they're just gonna let both of these go down. And let's see if their last can take us. Urshifu, Archaladon, or Rillaboom. All of those are a little scary. But we've got the numbers advantage here. 
we are in great position. Someone the gourmet. It is Urshifu, and it is water Urshifu. We've got two turns of sand left. We are faster even if there's Scarf. I would think. We need to hit, what, 112 doubled? Oh yeah, we're 140 doubled. Nice. So, we just high horsepower. And we... Fairy Terra Terra Blast. I think that's the play. You don't have Terra left, so either you go after Excadrill and we get two hits off, or you go after Tyranitar and Excadrill gets two hits off. Tyranitar, you're so pretty. And it's just an Aqua Jet into T-Tar, which we would have eaten anyway. Cool. Good game. Take it out in Urshifu. Alright. Alright, Tyranitar really showed why he's an OG in that last one. Uh, let's see if we can get Volcarona or Gyarados to do something in this match, because I love them too. We've got, okay, they've got Chiyu Fluttermane, they've got Hisuian Gudra, Tornadus, Water Ogre Pond, and Amoongus. I'm a little bit scared of that Hisuian Gudra, because I think that's the best Iron Defense bot. It cannot be crit, and it's just terrifying. Chiyu Fluttermane. Tyranitar eats that for breakfast. And lunch, and dinner, and a midnight snack. So we're bringing Tyranitar. Their answer to Tyranitar could be Gudra, could be Water Ogre Pond. Water Ogre Pond can't be redirected by our redirectors, but it can be intimidated by Gyarados. So I do like Tyranitar on the lead. And Gyarados has Taunt. Taunt would be excellent to shut down that Hisudra. So that's our lead. They could have some weather on that Tornadus, probably Sun. But I do think Excadrill is pretty cool here anyway. And is Volcarona the play? Volcarona doesn't seem bad, but we also have safety goggles here. Ooh. I don't like Amoongus, but it's one of these. I'm gonna bring Volcarona. I said I want to try Volcarona. Let's give him a shot. Let's see what this Volcarona can do. We've got Flame Body, Rage Powder, Overheat, Tailwind, Struggle Bug. That's a cool set. That's a lot of cool tech. It can be good in a lot of different situations. You need to update your trainer card. Alright, I'm putting all my money on Tyranitar. Yes, they have a Chiyu and a Tornadus. That's excellent for me. I do think they'll probably set up Sun or something. But I don't think Chiyu, even in the Sun, is going to break a Tyranitar. Alright, we confirm they're faster than Gyarados, no surprise there. We get our Intimidate, don't need that. And we set up Sand. I think I just throw Rock Slide. Rock Slide, Rock Slide, Rock Slide. And just a Helping Hand Rock Slide? I don't want to swap in anybody. Gyarados is perfectly positioned. Yeah. Helping Hand Rock Slide. I'm going to do all the Rock Slide. And you are going to have to react. Go ahead. Take this Rock Slide. They withdraw to you. Okay. They know that they were in a bad position. They're scared. Who do you have here to take a Helping Hand Rock Slide? Amoongus. And you just protect your Torn. Yeah, you're scared. We put on so much pressure. Plus, now we've got Taunt into that Amoongus. This is going to be good. Tornadus blocks. And Amoongus takes half. Wow! We don't even have to taunt it. Uh, another Helping Hand Rock Slide will take it out. Wow! Should have been Citrus Berry. Yeah, I'm just going to Rock Slide again. And I'm gonna helping hand again. Ball's in your court, buddy. All 
All right, he took forever to choose. He's withdrawn a Moongus. Okay, get some health back on that. And who are you sacking? This is your fourth. This isn't Chiyu. It's Gudra. Okay, that can take a rock slide. But I'm hoping we can take out Tornadus here. And they just set up Tailwind. Ooh, is Tailwind gonna make them faster than Gyarados and let them get up their boost? Okay, Tornadus is gone. Excellent. I'm gonna have to check this Gyarados' speed, but I don't think it's gonna be faster than that Gudra anyway. Gudra neutral speed is 80. Even if it's a minus speed nature, it's 72, which would be 144. Gyarados can reach 144, but that's like max speed. I don't think, I don't think you made this Gyarados max speed. And then it's just a Moongus, okay. We might as well check the Gyarados. We know it's not gonna be fast enough. Yeah, just 103. And then I want to go, I guess I could just knock off toward it and taunt the Amoongus. I expect that to get redirected anyway, but that's what I'm going with. Yep, they just get up the shelter. No redirection from the Amoongus. We get the taunt on the Amoongus. Let's hope you're Rocky Helmet and not Mental Herb. Good. No spores. Wow, they're faster than Tyranitar now. And we get rid of your item. Your leftovers. They are gone. Okay, they got up to plus two defense. That's pretty scary, but we can Rage Powder away the body presses later, which will be nice. Getting a burn on that would be excellent. Is it time to go for Fairy Terra now, or do I want to wait even more? Because I kind of just want to go for Terra Fairy Helping Hand knockoff. Make sure I don't get hit by a body press yet. And try to knock out this Amoongus so that they cannot get a Pollen Puff off. Because we got rid of the leftovers. And yeah, I could taunt the Gudra at some point, but at that point, it'll have a chance to get up to plus four, and that's not too different than plus six to me. Helping hand this boost. I think this can knock out the Amoongus. And yeah, they just shelter again. Didn't need to Terra just yet. Oh, and that's right, they're faster anyway. Right, right, right. And then knock off. Goodbye, Amoongus. Is that a speed-invested Amoongus? I guess it could just be neutral speed Amoongus. That would be 50. I don't think this Tyranitar is that fast. It was just Rocky Helmet. And we take a little Sandstorm chip. That Sandstorm's actually working against us now. Their last guy is Chi Yu. I want to take out that Chi Yu. They have not terastalized yet. Maybe they just haven't been threatened. Volcarona is excellent versus that Gudra. Well, it's okay against the Gudra. Overheat will never crit, though. I need to keep that in mind. And the X could go preserving its sash would be nice. So I don't think I swap here. I think I just throw a rock slide and a waterfall at that Chiyu. Eventually I'll want to Thunder Wave the Gudra. But Gyarados probably has plenty of life left. There will be plenty of time to do that later. They just throw a Heat Wave. That does a lot of damage. Gyarados gets its Citrus Berry up. And no way is Chiyu going to take this double up. And they just shelter all the way up to Max. Understandable. I get it. I get it. We can take out this Chiyu. Yep, it's gone. Excellent. Now I want to Thunder Wave you. Oh, but I also want to maybe get a burn on you with Volcarona. Is Thunder Wave better or is Burn better? I don't really know. I have Iron Head for flinches. I 
think Burn would be better. And I think they're going to try to take out Tyranitar here. So I'm going to bring in Volcarona. And I think I'm going to just taunt them for now. I don't know if they have Life Dew or Protect or something in their last slot, but it's most likely Body Press and Heavy Slam. Force them to attack. Force them to attack the Volcarona. And we should be able to get ourselves a nice little burn on this thing eventually. They just Body Press Gyarados, which we just barely eat. Rage Powdering now. and bringing in Excadrill immediately. It would be nice to get a little dancey sword up. And they still haven't Terra. I think these things are usually like Ghost or Fairy. If you're Fairy, that would be great, because I could Iron Head you. How much does this Body Press do? Less than half. Did we get the burn? No, not yet. All right, we'll Rage Powder again, and we will Sword Stance. This Gudra could still pull off the win. We have all four Pokemon left, and I'm not thinking it's over yet. But we get our little boost. They get another body press. Oh, that one takes out Volcarona. High roll. Oh, but we get the flame body. Yes. Yes, thank you. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. And that would be turn, what, two of Taunt? Yeah, that's the last turn of Taunt. Okay. Then I'm gonna bring in Gyarados. And I don't think they would go for a status move this turn, so I'm gonna hold the Taunt. And I'm gonna Waterfall for some flinchy chances? No. I'm gonna Helping Hand to get as much damage as I can with this high horsepower. No. I'm going to taunt, and I'm going to protect. They think Excadrill's the threat. They're going to body press Excadrill. Slow down and think about it, Jordy. Get the taunt just in case they have protect or life do. They probably have one of the two. And yeah, it's just body press into Excadrill. Okay. Get a little bit more burn chip. Now we throw a helping hand at high horsepower. Putting everything I have into this hit. This little tiny little mole. Get him! That is great damage. That is excellent damage. Okay. Excadrill down to one, but that's all we need. A little bit more burn chip on you. I won't go for the protect play again. They might see it coming. So I'm just gonna waterfall. How many turns of taunt are left? This is the last turn of taunt. I think it's fine, yeah, just waterfall. And all we gotta do is hit this high horsepower. They are terrestrializing now. Do I think they have something that resists high horsepower? They have flying! Oh, hold up. Hang on. They're gonna survive this turn. High horsepower whiffs. Waterfall could flinch them. And a body press into Excadrill. Okay. Decent play, I guess. But now, you're taking burn damage and you're taking sand damage, and you're gonna have to take a hit, and you can only hit one of us back. So I think we are in fantastic position here. You, there's no way you can knock us both out here. So I can just taunt, and I can just Terra Blast is perfect accuracy. And then we lock this in. Just in case you live and want to get a sneaky life do in. Nope. Got you locked down. Let's see if Terra Blast can do it. Come on, Titar. Take out the other pseudo. That's good enough. It's gone. 
And they did have life too. Oh, they tried. Good on them for playing it out. I mean, that's what you gotta do. If you're playing Gudra, you gotta commit to playing the long game like this. But we got them. Woo! All right. We had all the tools we needed. All right, we back here with this rental team again. This was a blast for me. Thank you so much, Jarl, for sharing it. These mons are so cool. I love Excadrill. I love Volcarona. I cannot wait for the Gen 5 remakes. Uh, I also happen to be a big Gyarados fan. The, the giraffe is just okay, and an Amoongus is Amoongus. I think we could have gotten all three wins there if it wasn't for my misclick, or timeout, actually, in that first game. Uh, let me know if you think differently, but I think if I had iron-headed into that Dragonite, we would have been all set. But then we got a couple wins on the back end with those, that game two and that game three, so I am happy with this performance. Anyway, if you've enjoyed it, you can use this team too. Rental code's right up there. And I'm Jordy, and uh, all right, peace. <laughs>